back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. And today's video I am super excited about because I am trying a brand that I've wanted to try for a long time. I'm going to do a full face of Milani. I've heard great things about this brand and yeah, like I said, I'm super excited to try it out. I've had this bag in my closet for a while now, just waiting for the opportunity to do it. So if y'all are just as excited as I am, don't forget to smash that like button and smash that subscribe button. And yeah, let's go. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up, shall we? All right, so the first thing that I pulled out was this eyeshadow palette. It is called Golden Nude. I think if I remember right, they only had two eyeshadow palettes. It was this one with like neutral rosy colors and the other one was like mauve pink colors. Dangerous Length Mascara. Brow Pencil. Conceal and Perfect Shine Proof Powder and Fair. They did not have a translucent. Rose Glow. This has highlighters in it. Let's see. This is Pearl, Golden Quartz, and Rose Gold. Bronzer and a blush. This one is so called Sunlight. And this one is Rose Powder. Blossom Time Rose. A lip liner in Nude Entrance. Eyeshadow primer in nude. Eyeliner called the Tank. It's water. Sorry, Foxy. It's waterproof. Um, I hate waterproof, so I'm assuming they did not have regular like that. Setting spray, make it last in matte. Ooh, a lipstick to match the lip liner, and this is Dolce Carmelo. A concealer, conceal and perfect and the foundation also conceal and perfect um the concealer is in nude ivory and the foundation is porcelain and the last thing is no pore zone mattifying primer i have a lot i really did go all out and get a complete full face all right, so I'm going to go with the eyes first. So this is their primer, lightweight, invisible, let's see, color one, nude. I'm just gonna take a little on my finger. The palette, I really like this palette. It's called Golden Nude. Some offline, which is this one. That's gonna be my crease. That's really pretty. Okay, so now let's do a little bit of Little Spoon, which is this dark one right here. And that is just the outer corner right here. Kind of define it a little. All right, yeah, I'm gonna go in with that boozy brunch. And go on the lid. Like, I really like this palette so far. It's really nice. I think I'm gonna go in with the, I don't give a fudge. And of course fudge is not, not it, but. Okay. So I'm gonna take a clean blender and just blend all this right here. Make sure there's not a harsh line. One time someone commented on my videos about how everything was good, but I need to learn how to blend more. So I took your advice and I'm blending more. And it's, it's working pretty good, thank you. So I'm going to take a little flat packing brush and I'm going to use their setting spray and spray it. And I'm going to go in with the IGAF and right here in the middle. 
So this is not Milani, this is L'Oreal. This is empty. I'm gonna do my, my upper waterline real quick. Like, I didn't even think about getting a pencil, which honestly I needed to begin with. Okay, so now I'm going to line my eyes. This is the tank eyeliner. The tank eyeliner, okay. Give it a good shake. But yes, a very cute, small, precise line. Okay, this is literally all I want in an eyeliner. Now, if the formula was just a little bit wetter, it would be perfect, absolutely perfect. Small felt tip, very precise, perfect. No, I did not get Milani eyelashes. First of all, I don't even know if they make any. Second, if they did, the Walmart that I was at did not carry them. This is my Kiss So Wispy Lashes and the Duo Glue. I'm gonna line my eye with the glue and then let that get tacky, put a tad bit of glue on the lash and it sticks perfectly. A little tip is to kind of hold it up and then take the fingers that you're applying with and then turn your fingers up and so it's perfectly angled and everything and then go straight down all right so the next thing now is the mascara this is dangerous length 3d mascara do you see the brush on this like how weird is that brush it really gripped my lashes and pulled them up I'm excited to put it on my bottom lash later move on to the face so this is the primer no pore zone mattifying primer with Lily and bamboo extracts I think it said to shake it Oh wow, I love that. No smell, nothing has had a smell to it and everything is cruelty free. That's amazing, love that for this brand. This reminds me of my Smashbox photo finish primer. The, it's clear, probably has like that silicone-y feel into it. Some people don't like that, I personally do. So yeah, let's put this on my face. Now, this is where I start getting concerned because it's kind of hard to find my shades and I'm not going to sit there and like try to swatch stuff in Walmart because that's not how that works. That's gross. So, I'm going to go in with the foundation first, the Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1, 2-in-1 foundation and concealer. I'm gonna be really, really full coverage today then because I also got another thing I can sell her. She thick. Oh wow. Blends really nicely. Okay, so I don't know about it. Maybe, maybe it's buildable. Um, I'll have to see if I can build it up a little because it's not really covering my blemishes and it did say concealer and foundation in two in one. To me, that just sounds really full coverage. I'm going to go in with the concealer now and see if I can fix that. I don't want to knock it, you know, like it's my first time trying them. Okay. I like that. I like it a lot. Yeah, like it's a little orange, but it'll do. Now let's go in with the powder. Well, Milani, number one. And here you go. 
I'm hoping that it don't turn me orange. Okay, that's so much better. Now, let's go in with their bronzer. This is Sunlight. Sunlight. All right, now is the blush. And this blush is, it's so adorable. It's a little rose. Oh, and it's called Blossom Time Rose. Once again, I don't want to mess up the, the press on it. It's so pretty. That's so pretty. Love, love the blush. That's, I can't stop dropping stuff. That is so pretty. Mm. Next is the highlighter. It's a trio set. So I think I'm going to go in with Pearl, which is this one right here. See if I have room. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay. Mm. Get my fan brush. That's nice. I really like that. Oh my gosh. Emily, why are you calling me child? I'm filming. Okay, next would be to finish my eyes. So, I think I'm gonna go in with this palette, a little highlighter palette. And um, my little packing brush. Let's get the whatever's off of it. And I'm gonna go in with this for the inner corner and the brow bin. Now the bottom lashes. I think I'm gonna go back in with Little Spoon, which is that dark purple, and go up under here. And then I'm going to be a little extra because I'm always extra. And I'm gonna go back in with a highlighter palette. And I'm gonna try this one right here, this gold, rose gold. So very a little bit on here, and I'm gonna go in the very center of my bottom lash line. Okay, and now mascara. This brush is so weird. Please, please, makeup gods, do not let me mess this up. Oh gosh, okay. It gripped my bottom lashes. That's just one coat, like not even a full coat. Do you see how long my bottom lashes are? So yeah, this is a 10 out of 10. Yes. Now, eyebrows. Okay, it's a very skinny pencil. Precision Brow in Taupe, and I'm hoping that it's my color. Or at least I can make it work. I can make it work. This is a hard pencil. Let's see how precise I can be. Gotta brush them out. This is a skinny pencil, a skinny spoolie, and a hard lead hard hard pencil whatever all right yeah, my eyebrow is so damn crooked okay so yeah i would recommend this it's a good product i think it was like four dollars maybe um yeah okay, so next is setting spray matte finish make it last this one also said, shake me. Spray 10 inches away from the face. Okay, let's see. Don't really smell. Okay, so last but not least is the lips. So I got, by the way, I rarely ever use lip liner or lipstick. Um, this is understatement lip liner in 110 nude entrance I rarely line my lips because my lips are a little crooked and it frustrates me that I can't get that perfect line <laughs> let's see 
Alrighty, we're gonna move on. <laughs> uh, okay, this is called Dolce Carmelo. It's really pretty. Oh, that is, that, that's really pretty. Look at that. Okay. Ooh, it has a... This smells like watermelon. Oh my gosh, like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. Mm, okay. Very stiff but creamy formula. Here we go. Now let's do my thoughts and opinions about everything. Let's start with eyeshadow primer. I like it. Um, it has a very smooth filling to it and no smell and my eyeshadow blended perfectly. The palette. I love the color story. Um, the colors that I chose, I guess were like very monochromatic and just kind of like blended with each other, but it still looks really good. The formula is creamy. So yes, love, love, love this. This is amazing. This gripped my bottom lashes one coat, not even a full coat, and they're so long. I love this. The eyeliner, I like it. I like the thin precision line that you can get with it. I wish it was a wetter formula because the end of this is so sharp that, I don't know, I just, I, I wish the formula was just a tad bit wetter. Eyebrow pencil. I like that it is thin like this. That's my other one. Do you see the, the size difference here? See how thin that one is compared to that one? I like how thin the, the product was. Um, it did try to break on me a few times because the product was kind of hard, but I like it. This, this shade right here is gorgeous. Love it, love it. Love the formula, smooth, creamy, blends out like a dream. This, this is pretty good. Like, I'm not gonna knock this, it, it's pretty good. It, um, it blended pretty well and it was my perfect shade, so I was excited about that. Along with the blush. I love the blush, the blush is beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's that perfect rosy color that is so hard to find. Um, it just, it was trying to oxidize me. Love that. The concealer was amazing. I love the concealer. The foundation, I think it was overhyped for me. Um, watching other people be like, oh, I love it. Oh, Milani's foundation is amazing. For it to be conceal, a two-in-one foundation and concealer, it didn't really conceal on me. So this one's an eh. Lipstick. It smells like a freaking watermelon Jolly Rancher. It smells so good. And the liner that I got to go with it matched perfectly. Smooth, it's creamy. Uh, I like it. Ta-da. All right, guys, I love y'all. All right, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video because I enjoyed making it for y'all. Um. Yeah, so don't forget to smash the like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. I love y'all. And this is Marie, signing out. Bye!